Hello chess lovers, Zorin here and in this video I want to share with you a good old and a well-known chess miniature played between two English chess legends. On the white side is Henry Edward Burt and his compatriot Joseph Henry Blackburn, nicknamed the Black Death, is playing with the Black Pieces. The game was played in 1886 in London. Burt had white pieces and he opened up with f4. Now this opening carries his name and is known as Bird opening. e5. In return Blackburn is going for Fromm's Gambit. From the first move on he is revealing his aggressive intentions. Of course in here by playing e4 white can transpose to King's Gambit but Bird decided to accept the Gambit hit pawn. d6 he takes d6, bishop takes d6. By sacrificing a pawn Black managed to get an aggressive attacking position. And now by relying on the vulnerability of white's king's side, we'll try to organize an attack. By playing f4, white weakened his king's side. Knight f3, knight f6. Uh, well, in here g5 is considered to be the strongest move. In many cases, white is even making an amateurish h3 move in order to stop the g-pawn and is getting checkmate hit. To g5, the strongest response is g3 and then knight h4. Uh, this is how the line goes, but in the game to knight f3, black answered with knight f6. Uh, d4, knight g4, bishop g5. That's the strongest move. Occupying the center with e4 is really good. Uh, but instead we see bishop g5, which allowed black to advance on the king side without meeting any obstacles and get a nice attack. After bishop takes f2, this time black captured on f2, thus depriving white of a privilege to castle. A king takes f2, there comes g4, knight h4, f5, now the knight is hanging, g3 and f4. Uh, white allowed black to attack and as Blackburn was a fierce attacker, he is just using his chance and is enjoying his uh, advantage. Queen d3, black castled king side queen b3 check. Already this is a bad move and what are you going to say with this check? Instead thinking about the safety of the king is better. King e1 or even king g2 is better but in the game we see queen b3 check. King h8, king g1 but already it's too late to look for a safe shelter for the king and white's position is already hopeless. Queen f6 now black wants to capture on g3 and announce a checkmate. Bishop g2, f takes g3, h takes g3. White managed to free the h2 square for the king but there is no way out. In here Blackburn made a move and forced a resignation. Can you find his next move? Ready? Uh, well if you remember earlier I have already shared with you a game played between David Howell and Renat Jumabayev. This position is from that game and in here we have the same winning pattern. Can you find the winning move for white? Ready? Uh, in here Howell played rook c6, a powerful blockading move with which he is neutralizing the threat and once you accept the rook sacrifice only then white can play queen h6. In our game we also see a similar idea and the winning move by black is rook f3, after which white resigned. For example, if you accept the rook sacrifice, then already the third rank is blocked, you no longer protect this pawn on g3 and you can get checkmate hit. Uh, the final rook sacrifice is really very nice and I hope that you enjoyed this chess miniature. In there the chess puzzle for you where the task is to find that winning line for white. And by the way I have to tell you that black has already moved his king and can no longer castle. We'll wait for your answers in the comment section. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.